Hey, how's it going all you amazing people? You guys came back. I'm so glad every time you guys come back. I'm Landon. For any of you guys who are new here, how's it going? Nice to meet you guys. This is where we take interesting topics and compile them into a top 10 list for your guys' entertainment and so you guys don't have to. So this right here is the top 10 interesting facts about HIV. So let's jump into this list like we always do, starting us off in at number 10. Did you guys know that HIV can be transmitted in multiple different ways? The virus can spread through unprotected sexual contact with an infected person. The virus can also spread via transfusions with contaminated blood. This is why so many screening precautions are in place when people donate blood. The sharing of contaminated needles, syringes, or any sharp objects can transmit HIV. And lastly, HIV can be transmitted through a mother to her baby during pregnancy. And also it can be transmitted through breastfeeding. So mothers who are HIV positive while pregnant receive HIV medications. And also to have a lower chance of passing it through the kid, it's highly recommended by doctors to go through with a cesarean birth, a C-section. And instead of breastfeeding, it's better to feed the baby formula. Up next, in at number nine, the HIV virus sneaks past the autoimmune system cells by using a type of camouflage techniques. The virus sneaks past our immune system cells by surrounding itself with sugar molecules that fool the body into thinking the virus is nutrient instead of a threat. However, our understanding of the camouflage mechanism is that the chain of sugar molecules around the virus remains constant while sugar molecules on human cells are different. Scientists are claiming that this finding is very significant to the development of vaccines against HIV infections. Up next, in a number eight, this might shock you guys, but 36.9 million people people here on earth, maybe some of us, actually are infected by the HIV virus. This is a lot of people, 2.6 million of those people are actually children. So I'm talking about kids under the age of 15 years old. Every day about 5,600 people contract HIV, which means over 230 people get this virus every single hour. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, many people are unaware that they have contracted the virus. So there's about 1.2 million people in the states alone who have this HIV virus and one in five people which is about 240,000 people don't actually know that they have it so this is why more people should be tested for HIV and this actually brings us to number seven there are some ways to prevent the spread of this virus get tested and know your partner's HIV status have less risky sex use condoms correctly limit your number of sexual partners because the more partners you have the more likely you are actually exposing yourself to HIV get tested and get treated for STDs if you guys have and never use contaminated dirty or shared needles and syringes that is like a big no-no up next and at number six let's go back to the very first person that we know in documented history to be infected with the HIV virus a plasma sample was taken in 1959 from an adult male living in the Democratic Republic of Congo and the plasma sample was found to contain the HIV many scientists believe that HIV was probably introduced to humans around the 1940s or the early 1950s so the question is is where did HIV come from? The most accepted theory is the hunter theory. In this case, the simian immunodeficiency virus from the chimpanzee would have been transferred to the hunter. And this is when the chimpanzee was eaten or if the chimpanzee's blood entered the bloodstream of the hunter. The SIV virus adapted itself into the human host and became HIV-1 virus. So there's actually a lot of misconceptions about the transmission of HIV. And this comes into our list in at number five. A lot of people are concerned that the simple interactions with an infected person will put them at risk with contracting the virus. You cannot get HIV just because you're breathing the same air as someone or using the same utensils or you know gym equipment, even sitting on the same toilet seat, sharing the same toothbrush, touching a doorknob or sharing your drinks with someone. You can't even get it from hugging, kissing or shaking someone's hands. Doing any of these things actually does not put you at risk. Because remember HIV is only spread in certain bodily fluids such as blood, semen, and pre-seminal fluids, rectal fluids, vaginal fluids, and breast milk. Up next, in at number four, there's actually a new drug that can help prevent the HIV virus. This has been a breakthrough. It's called PREP, which stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis. It is a single pill that you should take every single day, and this will help stop the HIV virus from spreading if you're exposed. So this drug is for people without HIV, who are at a higher risk for getting it from sex or injection drug use. 
Studies have shown that this drug is highly effective for preventing HIV if it is used as prescribed. But it's less effective if it's not taken consistently. We're now in at number 3. Did you guys know that there's many strains of the HIV virus? So there's HIV type 1 and there's HIV type 2 are the two distinct viruses. Worldwide, the predominant virus, the HIV-1, and generally, when people talk about HIV, they're referring to the HIV-1. The more uncommonly HIV-2 virus is concentrated in West Africa, but it has also been seen in other countries as well because it's spreading. It is less infectious and progressively slower than HIV-1, so with HIV type 1, there are many types of strains with that. They're subclasses. The strains of HIV type 1 can be classified into four groups, but the most common and important group is M, the major group. This is the one responsible for the majority of the global HIV epidemic. The other groups are N, O, and P. They are quite uncommon and they only occur in Cameroon, Gabon, and Equatorial Guinea. So up next to number two, this might be shocking, but it can take almost 10 years for the onset of AIDS. AIDS, which stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, is the final or most severe stage of the disease. And this is when the immune system of the patient's body has been compromised greatly. According to the World Health Organization, 1.5 million people worldwide have died from AIDS related illness back in 2013. So we've all made it into number one spot. Let's quickly recap what we've learned so far. We know that HIV can be spread through various routes. HIV uses camouflage when it is transmitted. And there are many myths about HIV and there's also multiple different strains of HIV. Coming up into number one spot, HIV, it's not necessarily, you know, your death sentence. It is actually a manageable condition. You will need to make several lifestyle changes and continuous medications. Celebrities like Magic Johnson have been living with the condition for over 10 years. And more recently, Charlie Sheen admitted to being HIV positive for four years now. Although it is true that there isn't a cure for HIV, there are medications available that can keep the virus under control. Doctors say that if you take these medications faithfully and make better lifestyle decisions, you have a really great chance of living out a normal lifespan or something very close to it. Well, there you guys have it. That's everything you need to know about HIV. Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two or 10. Let me know what you guys think of this video in the comment section below. It was a whole lot of learning and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. If you guys did, hit that like button. If you guys didn't, no worries. If you want to continue watching videos, there's a few of them right beside me. Give those a click. Continue watching Most Amazing Top 10. We're making videos every single day. We're going to be doing multiple videos, three videos, maybe even 10 videos. Let me know if you guys want more. Put hashtag more videos. And also, let me know what Top 10 you guys would like to see next. That's it for me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.